Well guys, it's Maddo, welcome to another free view video and this week I'm doing a game that I was infinitely impressed with when I played it uh, it's called First Class Trouble uh, it's essentially, uh, you know, along the similar veins to Among Us, uh, Town of Salem, those sort of thing where we have imposters or baddies within the group and we have to sort of vote them out in the system that you're seeing here and essentially squeeze them out of our society so that we can go on and and win the, win the game, there's lots of little mini games, lots of little things to find, uh, like the base of the game is around key cards and, and getting to the next level and then eventually shutting down uh, what is the artificial intelligence which is essentially running the whole ship that you're in. Uh, in your group of six there were two uh, what people would know from Among Us as imposters but in this game they're called personoids uh, and it's just about Obviously, the personoids are trying to kill everyone else before they get to the end, and then everyone else is trying to get to the end and not be killed by the personoids and maybe out the personoids if they can. I left this little clip of the video because it's a prime example of what happens when you're a personoid like me, who's not very good at it, and they suss you out and they put you in the airlock, essentially, and you, <laughs> you get blown out, as we're about to see here. Uh, despite the fact that my teammate, the other personoid, could have come and helped me, they didn't, and I got absolutely... Uh, flung out of the airlock there, which was just not enjoyable for me at all. But overall, you know, it, it was a game that really, really got me excited. I was really, really happy with it. Uh, the controls and stuff and just a little bit of espionage. Like, for example, it's all proximity chat. So you have to be close to each other to be able to hear each other. But there is a personoid chat, yeah, I got uh, which I'm using uh, sort of in this clip. Uh, you can't really hear it, but I'm using it to communicate with the other personoid so that we can decide what we're going to say, how we're going to get rid of them. And there's just little aspects like this. So we're in a spaceship in the, in the middle of space and the oxygen gets low. We have little individual oxygen tanks in the room and we need to top up with these little machines, which for me just adds a little bit of danger, a little bit of adversity. And there's just plenty of ways for people to die. So you can die from lack of oxygen. You can be electrocuted. If people think that you're suspicious, all that needs to happen is what's about to happen in this clip. One person pins you from behind, as this gentleman's doing here, and then someone else just comes and sorts of finishes you uh, in the front like this. It doesn't take one punch, it looks a little bit silly, the person just drops and flops to the floor. Oh, I would imagine the there'll be a sort of animation for that in the future, but you know, overall it was a lot, a lot of fun. I played with complete randoms, no one in this uh, server or this lobby, I didn't know any of them. And there's a completely dedicated Discord for it, people were getting games. It was a bit slow at first on the uptake, playing like public matches just wasn't possible. You had to get into like private groups to arrange the games just because the player base was so low because it is sort of still a play test. But I just loved it. It was so much fun. The variety around the map was fantastic. There was just, like I said, there's so many different ways to kill people. The oxygen's low, there's fires, there's bottles you can throw at people. There's a, an injection serum that only the person can get hold of to kill people. It's basically full of poison. There's a kitchen. There's a freezer. You can, you can trap someone in the freezer. You can burn them with with kitchen utensils. Um, yeah, the one right here. You can one smash one the aquarium and drown people. Like it, there is just such a variety of ways to kill people, and it makes it such a tactical game. And again, there's other things like there's a, there's, a, there's a hallway we're about to see, I believe, with with electric electric wires just loose in it, which is fantastic. There's an airlock. So similar to the airlock that you saw me get blown out of when I got caught as the personoid, you can get people into that airlock and blow them out yourself if you're a personoid and you're smart enough. I'm about to use the lethal injection here, which is another way to kill people. It's just variety and that constant variety is what really, really excites me when I play this game. Because there's nothing worse than, you know, loading into a game and just doing the same one thing repeatedly over and over again, not having different strategies and not having different ways of doing things. I like to have that just options, the opportunity. You can change what you're doing slightly if it doesn't go according to plan, and so be it. As for the people who aren't the personoids, their mission is to just elevate up the levels and turn off the uh, AI, like I said. Now they have to just get, collect three key cards and get into the lift. In the lift is where you have a vote, similar to if you press the emergency button in a game like Among Us, or the town meetings at the end of a, t end of a day on Town of Salem. You can have those meetings and decide you know, who, who you're going to get rid of, is anybody suspicious, and have those chats, because you're all in the lift, so you all get that proximity chat. Overall, fantastic game. I think the gameplay is almost perfect. It works functionally, it works really well for me really really fun we're about to blow someone out of the airlock here which actually won me oh, yeah, and the guy whose name is not sick the game because we were the personoids uh, and the graphics i think as you can see here they look really 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 good i, I honestly can't grumble a lot with this game especially <laughs> for the fact it hasn't been released yet 
it's just superb. It played so well. I had a lot, a lot of fun, and it's really a game I think a lot of people could consider. Now, obviously, as we do the scores every single week, I'm going to give the gameplay a score of 45 out of 50, the highest score we've ever given yet. But I just had so much fun, and it worked. You know, it seemed to work for me, and it really, I enjoyed it a lot. And then obviously the graphics are the same, like I said in the previous, previously, the graphics are fantastic. You know, they, they're not totally top end, which is why they're not 50, but they're almost there. They look The game looks fantastic, and obviously it comes in straight at the top of the 5 minute preview scores above Savage Charles and Welcome to Ember. Uh, and I think it'll remain at the top for a while with a score of 90 out of 100. You know, it's just fantastic, it's unbeatable. Uh, but that is all for today guys, thank you very much. This has been Madder for the Unity Channel. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.